Hi guys, I had to just start a new live. I don't know what happened. <sighs> Sorry, it's honestly, I don't know if it's the storm or if it's just YouTube. <laughs> I say that because um, they've been having problems lately. Okay, we'll see who can jump back on here with us. Oh, I see what I'm doing here. Okay, so if you're just joining the second part of my live, my first live kind of died on us and we were sadly about to finish up this journal. Yay, hey Kim, I'm so glad you found me. I don't know what happened there. Um, I've been in lives lately and they just seem to be kicking people out. I don't know. So, I was saying we almost have this all of these pages ready to go. So, we will have made a journal together. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yay, I'm so glad y'all found me again. I am so sorry. Uh, I just looked up to check in with you guys and I saw everyone was buffering. Then I looked at my phone and which is what I record on and nothing was going on so I'm glad you came back yeah right Kim <laughs> oh my goodness all right so I'm feeling really good about this we almost have another one of my Christmas gifts made I want to know uh, are you guys crafting for Christmas? Yeah, are y'all making things for Christmas gifts? I'm doing a little bit of both. For sure. I kind of am giving my husband like the lamest Christmas gift. Oh, you guys are going to laugh. You're going to get a good laugh out of this, I think. Hey there, Gloria. Good morning. Um, so, Gloria, I was just wondering who's making Christmas gifts for their loved ones. Oh, good. You're doing some crafting for Christmas. That's great. Um, I... Okay. So for my husband's birthday, which is in November, sorry, I'm tearing all these apart, but I'm totally keeping all these map scraps for my collage paper pad. I am gifting him, <laughs> it's just silly. I am redoing our bathroom. Like I am redecorating our bathroom. So I bought all new vanity pieces, new towels, um, like these really cool new Lazy Susans for our essential oils and homeopathic, like homeopathic remedies and cologne and things like that. So I got one that's for first aid and medicine and like oils. And I got another Lazy Susan that's for like perfume and cologne and, and different things. But yeah, I'm redoing the our master bath for his Christmas. It's really kind of lame, I'm telling you. <laughs> I was putting his gifts under the tree and he, I was like, don't get excited. This is really weird Christmas, <laughs> but I think it'll be nice. Like he's been putting so much time and so you guys might know that I, for his birthday in November, uh, me and my son and my daughter, but really me and my son kind of went to town, um, getting his cinema his media room redone um like we bought him a neon light that says cinema c and 
we painted, so we spent like, he helped, my husband helped, but we painted the room and did, um, did that for his birthday. So I guess his birthday and Christmas are just all about fixing up the house. We live in a, in a new home. We had it built in 2018, but you know, it's time for a refresh and just improvements, just some improvements. But I still feel like it's kind of a lame gift. Like, oh, thanks, hon. A box of towels and things for the bathroom. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But you know, like we pay so much for our homes and where we live and it's nice to care for them and doll them up. So he's, you know, I think he'll appreciate it. Okay. So this is what we're working on for, if you don't know what to do. Well, who do you have to craft for, Salia? I, am I saying that right? I'm probably not. Sala, Sala. I know that you're, I think you're in Sweden or Finland. I can't, I think you're in Finland actually. So I know I'm butchering your name. Just straight out of the gate, this Texas girl. It is the thought that counts, right? Yeah, yeah, you're in Finland. That's what I thought. I've attached you to Finland in my brain. Yay. I do well with word association because I have a hard time remembering names and things. So I have to associate, I have to add an association like this lovely couple at our church. The husband's name is Ray. So the first time I ever met him, he's like, hi, I'm Ray. I'm like, oh, Ray is sunshine. And so I never forgot his name. <laughs> hey, Pam. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's put this together. So our first... I'm going to make this the first page and pocket of the album. Then we'll throw in the sketch page because this really is all about the sketchbook. All right, cool. Then let's see. I hope she travels more. She's at the age. No kids. No Nothing to hold her back. Go travel the world. I did a whole lot of traveling in my 20s and some in my 30s, and I regret none of it. So I always think young people should travel and see as much of the world as they can. Don't save it for later. Do it now. <laughs> okay, we'll put this in. Yay, I'm glad you found me again. Oh, cool. I, I didn't. So it's Sala? Um, I'm surprised. I, I feel like I could definitely be butchering it. Okay. I want this vulture page to just pop right out. Um, so I'm going to flip it this way just funny. Vultures are bald. Vipers are reptiles. Yes, these things are true. Okay, so now we've got, let's take a flip through what we've got going on so far. We've got a pocket. I always like to have pockets in the front of the album. Sketchbook page, a map. So this is where she lives. So it's like her starting off place. Okay. Sketch page, artsy page, just a fun page, another sketch page, a calligraphy page. Let's see what else are we working with here. We'll throw in a pocket right about now. Ooh, pretty pocket. And we'll add another sketchbook page. I mean, like every other page is going to be a sketch page because I want her to be able to express herself in here. Okay, so I've got two more artsy pages. I've got two more 
calligraphy pages or cursive pages. I've got four maps, so I definitely need to use a map. I'll put Virginia in there next. We'll put another, I think we're gonna have to do two signatures here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this signature with a sketchbook page, because that way one of her paintings can be the centerpiece of the signature. So there's her first signature. I'm gonna clamp that together. All right, let's do the second signature again. Let's start off with a pocket. Ooh, these two are pretty together. We'll put that in there and then we'll put a sketchbook page. All right, we'll put another map. That's Virginia again. I got two Virginias. What's this? Is this Kentucky? No, I like it. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Another sketchbook page. All right. It's kind of nice that this is all one, all the pages are one size. There's not any little ones in here that I have to be mindful of shifting and changing page in there. I think it's time for another map. Oh boy. All right. So this is what's fun about these is anything goes. Ooh, let's put these zebras with this. All right. Put a map there. All right, I believe we have our second signature now. Okay, I need a clamp. Let's see, I thought I had more over here. We'll use these. Oh boy, <laughs> there we go. Okay, we'll just use some paper clips. They'll do fine. Let's see, where is the center of this book? Here it is. All right, so this is gonna be a two signature journal. Hmm. All right, now we have to think about the cover. Or we could move on to a different project. Let's make some cards. I will deal with this cover later because I want some time to think about it. But at least we have the signatures put together. And I will share the finished product with y'all later so that y'all still get to see how my niece's journal ended. But let's... Let's move on, let's change it up. Let's work on some cards because I do still need to make sets of cards for Christmas gifts. I have lots of gorgeous paper to deal with. Ooh, look at this one. Ugh, yeah, waiting is hard at the airport. I'm glad I can entertain you a little, Melissa, and then you have your friends here, Gloria and Pam. So that's great, and new friends as well. Lives help, I'm so glad. Do more of what makes you happy, be humble, be kind, you and me together, love you thankful for you. So this paper pad has some
cut aparts that we could use. Look at this paper. I think this is great paper for like masculine cards. This is Farmhouse Blue by Park Lane. So this is from that store. Joann's. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's where this is from. Pretty, pretty. All right. I think these would make some really cute cards. Okay, I was complaining the other day that I have too many cards. And I need to get rid of them. So, I mean, obviously, I could just make some... Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, I like this page a lot. Um... So obviously it would make sense if I made some card bundles out of things I already have made, but I can't help myself. I just want to keep making more. Let's play with this paper bundle, this paper pad. Okay. I'm going to tear out this first sheet because what we're going to do is use the cut aparts as our focal points. I get questions about this tool more than anything else on my channel. It is the trim and score from We Are Memory Keepers. Hey Janine, welcome, welcome. It's amazing and I was at Michael's the other day and I saw it there for less than $30. And I will tell you that I was tempted to get a second one. <laughs> at that price, but I didn't. I mean, I'm looking for a different kind of trimmer. Like this one is amazing and lovely. It's fantastic, um, but I am looking for a slightly different kind. So I think thankful for you would be good. Um, this one's not really, I want to give cards that I feel like Are universal so that when somebody gets this pack they'll be able to easily use them I think the love you would be good <sighs> do more of what makes you happy would be good so let's cut out a few of these okay so obviously I don't want to just slice right look <laughs> this is kind of a mess look how messy this is <laughs> as far as the lines. So this piece ends here, this piece ends here, this one ends here, and this one does too. It's kind of messy. So I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna deal with that. With this little trimmer, it's great because I can line it up. It has this line here. It's cool. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all up close. So it has this line that lets me know where the point of the blade is right so where it's going to cut it also has this line so it shows me the depth of where the blade is i love that about this trimmer so that for times like these so i can take these two lines and really be precise about where i start okay it's not perfect but it's really close and good enough, right? So I'm gonna bring my scissors in and cut this crooked. I'm sure of it. All right. You know, someone, it was Mary over at Craft Roulette, said she doesn't like it when sentiments tell somebody to be something. She's like, it's just so bossy and like, I don't want to be bossy. <laughs> so now I always hear that in my head when I see like, be humble and kind. It's like, are you telling me that I'm not humble and kind? <laughs> are you trying to tell me something here? <laughs> so I'm not going to use the be humble and kind because of that. But I do want to use this little love you. Great, now and now I've probably done that for you guys. Now y'all are gonna be like, oh no, now I can't get it out of my head. Thanks a lot, Biddy Penny. <laughs> That's funny. 
you and me together. I mean, that might be like a good, like, um, anniversary card. Do more of what makes you happy. Love you. Thankful for you. Okay, so that's four. <sighs> Enjoy the simple things. These are the good old days. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. Enjoy the simple things. I think I'm okay with that one. So now we've got five. We might... We can definitely use this, and we can use this. You know what's funny is, like, I was just trying to have, like, a random thing that I could pull out of a box if I needed to to give to someone, but as soon as I start working with this paper pad, it's like, oh, I just have one person in mind, so <laughs> I'm sure that's who will get these. I know it is telling someone what to do, but I kind of feel like we, this is a message we all need to hear. Um, just because I think we can, it's easy to guilt ourselves. Like I'm a giver by nature. And so, um, but then not to myself, like I guilt myself over stuff. Right. So I think this is a message that I'm okay with. And this one's really pretty. I am thinking we could probably cover that sentiment with something. For the sentiments we don't want to use, there's always the back side, but I don't know. Home sweet home. That might be okay for like a miss you card or someone has is moving into a new home. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip all of those. I'm not really connecting with those, but we, hey, we came away with some things that I can live with. All right, and then, goodness, we know that I have plenty to pull from otherwise. All right, let's pull that paper pad back out now and do some five by sevens. right? <laughs> Ooh, I like this one automatically. Um, not that this is really my style, but like, because this was standing up over there, I was like, Ooh, that would be a really nice pattern to go with these. So we'll definitely use that sheet. Let's see. So pretty too. I, I mean, I like, I think I like every page. So let's throw some wood in there. All right, let's just pick three for now. I think we can do a lot. Do a lot with three. And these are kind of different, very different from one another. So that's good. All right. Should we bring some texture in on this business? I think we should. I have because I'm resourceful. I kept the bottoms. Oh wait, y'all haven't seen that project yet. Well, I have a paper bag project coming out. We were at the doctor's office yesterday and I was texting with some coworkers and editing videos. <laughs> so you will see the paper bag soon. Oh, hey, Cosmos Crafty Mom. Welcome. My lives are never planned. They're always just off the cuff. Sometimes I have, like, ideas in mind. And sometimes it's just a free-for-all. So welcome to my crafty madness. Okay. We're making five by sevens. Let's do some wide margins. Let's go ahead and do four by sixes with this sheet. 
Okay. Well, I'm just gonna cut these down to four for now. I'll do one of these at four by six. Okay, then I have these scraps of paper bags. This is gonna be similar. Ooh, I like that already. I mean, like, it really doesn't take a lot. So let me grab a five by seven base real quick. Hold it up. I'm trying to use up these bases. Um, I think these are like 80 pound, and I've gotten to where I really like the thick card base. But what I've noticed is because y'all know I like layers, when I start with a really heavy card base, it quickly, by the time I'm done making the card on the inside and outside, it weighs more than an ounce. So it requires extra shipping. I mean, cards don't have to be complicated. To me, that's really pretty. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Pam. But did you see my suggestion of using the humble and kind? Let me go up. Or you could, it does. Oh, like it, mm, very good. I like that, Pam. That's a very good idea. I like that a lot. Okay, so this is very clean and simple, and I really like it. I do. However, did y'all see my thrift store haul the other day? All these fabrics I got for a dollar. I don't know. These have very a country feel, which is why I got them, because I had nothing like it in my stash. But I'm kind of thinking... of adding a little bit of fabric in the mix. All right, let's... let's just see here. Or I have some Dollar Tree lace hanging out over here. Yes. Okay, we got options. We have so many options. Let's rip some fabric. I don't want it too big or wide. Okay, I like it plain and simple. So totally, if you're a plain and simple kind of Crafter, I, to me, that's a beautiful card. And it might be where we land, but it doesn't hurt. Oh, good, it's working again. Oh, now I'm checking. Um, let's see. No, I don't like it there. Let's see if we like it here. Oh yeah, I like that, okay. We don't need it all the way. But I like that. I just like that little pop of color. The thing is, is if I leave the pink out, then to me, this could be from a wifey to the hubby. Like it's a very masculine, has a masculine touch to it so she could give him an I love you card. Yep, yep. I think I think we're just gonna leave it plain and simple. How about we add just the tiniest mat to the back, a colored mat of some sort. Ooh. Um let's see. looking for craft paper. I don't have a lot of craft paper. I need to get this. I need to get a bundle of it the next time I'm buying paper. I need craft and I need to get an olive green. I love like olive or army green. It's one of my favorite colors. And I was making a, a different Christmas gift the other day and I think I used my last sheet 
or one of my last sheets. Okay. So we know that that striped is four and a quarter, or it's four by six. So I'm just adding a quarter of an inch to these. Okay, if you need to conserve paper, of course, and you have the time, you can die cut out of this and save paper, but I need to save time over paper right now. So I'm not gonna cut anything out of that. I like it. I like it. All right, let's go with this. Okay, let me make sure. An A6, I don't... Okay, I've gotta go back up, I gotta... I don't know what an A6 is either. Now this is the line coat glue. I need to relabel my bottle. Okay. This one. Ooh, beautiful. I love tile and ceramics. It's totally pretty. Yeah, I really liked this paper pad. Okay. Now we'll glue down this stuff. And what's great is with the line clip, the line glue is it's great for like adhering fabric to paper and paper to fabric so I know I can put it here on this ribbon and it'll stick just fine all right so let's glue down this scrap of a lunch bag I feel like this is very reminiscent of the cards, if y'all been watching this week, that I've already been making. But I kind of just do that. I get like in a groove with certain things and I play with it a few times before I move on. Okay. And that is enough of this glue, this Lanco glue to hold it down. All right, I wanna pop up the love you part. So I'm gonna bring in this scrappy piece of cardboard to do that. I'm just gonna hang it over the edges, see? And then that way when I cut it, I don't wanna cut this card, it's what I'm trying to avoid. is a thick piece of cardboard. All right. One thing I definitely want to think about myself more in um, 2022 is my envelopes. I feel like I've never really given that much consideration and I want to. One of the reasons is because I get happy mail from you guys and y'all make the envelope so awesome. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I never even think about the envelope. <laughs> I just, you know, don't, but I want to in 2022. Like 2021, I started decorating the insides of my cards. That was like my resolution for my crafty self was to decorate the insides of the cards um, for 2021, which we will do now, but for 2022, I think I want to focus more on the envelopes still doing. Nope. Still doing the insides of course, but I have these scraps that I accidentally cut incorrectly from the journal we just made, but I think it would work for here for this. Okay, so this is a love you card. All right, so I need 
need to cut this down to 10. And then I'm going to cut it down. Let's do three quarters of an inch. I'm going to fold it halfway. And I'm actually going to run this strip just all the way across the bottom here, the card. It's from a different paper pad, but I think it matches. Okay, let me catch up to the comments. I'm sorry I get carried away crafting and I lose track of the comments. I need a producer in my ear. All right. <laughs> straight but we're using line co so I can straighten it out oh that's better okay just a tiny little bit off the sides okay so we have a card done woohoo first one down now, let's cut, oh my goodness, this is, was my favorite page. I didn't even realize that, you guys. When we were flipping through picking paper, I picked it because of the wood grain. I didn't even realize it was this sheet. I love this sheet. So, okay, cutting it down to four. So I'm gonna keep the same formula as we use. So this is gonna be four by six which is awesome because look, I'm gonna take, so this journal right here that we watched, y'all watched me deal with in the first video for those of you that were with me, I've been putting scraps of my favorite paper in there. And right now I'm just putting it in the pockets so that I can add it into spreads and add it throughout the journal as I go. So. I'm going to tuck one of those four by six panels in there. See, and now I can cut up the whole paper pad because I have a four by six of my favorite pattern. So if you have a hard time using that pattern paper, maybe make yourself a little journal, a little keepsake journal where you can keep some of yours too. I don't know if I like the craft behind that, but we're just gonna keep playing. All right, I'm gonna cut this one down. I don't want all that blue space around it. Okay, we're still alive, that's good. And I am gonna go back through y'all's comments real quick. This is just what it's like with me. I just get, I'm on a mission. Once I'm on a mission, here we go. Once I start card making, it's hard to stop. All right. Uh, is the general card size here in Europe? Oh, okay. In Finland, um, I know, I think in Holland, their postal system is totally different than ours. And so they can ship kind of like any size. It just depends on weight, I think, for like one general price, something like that. Yeah, I love a five by seven. You know what other size I love, you guys? I love a six, uh, a six by nine. Mm, is that right? No. What I think it's called an A9 and it's five and a half by eight and a half. It's a it's basically a sheet of paper folded in half, but you make a card and they're stunning. It's a lot of real estate. Maybe we'll make one. We'll make one. We'll make one. That's a good idea, Sala, is to use my scraps to decorate my envelopes. I love that idea. Huh. Two inches off both sides. 
<laughs> well, Pam, if you um, use those scraps to make collage, then you're, you're not wasting anything. Okay, this is too much of the same. We need some, we need to inject a little more color here. What would this look like? I think I like it. Let's cut a little square off. Let's measure this first. So roughly, it needs to be three by two and a half. That's, I'm just gonna cut it down to four by six first. Okay, so four, because that's how my brain's working this morning. By six, then I'm gonna further cut this down to three. And then we'll do one little piece at two and a half. Ooh, that's a pretty piece of paper, isn't it? Just that, I mean, just that is pretty. On weight and size, okay. I see. Ours is weight and size too. Gosh, I'm having a hard time now. It's like, I don't want to cover up too many of these flowers and I don't want to cover up too much of this because I like it all so much. Let's put it at a total diagonal like that. That way we can see more of it. I really wanted this oval to be seen. Let's see, maybe, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I have, hmm, okay, let's play, because that's the name of the game around here. I don't know which paper I want to stamp this on. I'm going to try, okay, let me move all this to the side real quick. We're going to stamp out this image. Oh man, yesterday. So for those that were here earlier, was my mother-in-law's birthday. We all got together and we talked about that. We watched the Will Smith. Um, series, which is amazing. But my daughter and I, before going, walked around the yard. My husband has planted us the most beautiful gardens tons of roses and lots of different colors and so we walked around and we we just pulled a little bit of everything and we made such a beautiful bouquet it was so much fun like we have a willow tree and I pulled off a willow branch and I was able to arc the willow branch through the bouquet it was like this big oval wreath oh man it was so pretty Ooh, that one's moving. That's what I wanted. Okay, what happens if I dab it? I like it. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm with Sala. I keep checking now if it's live still. All right. I think I like this one better. Still a little wet, but it'll be okay. Ooh, I think we need to put some gold splatter on this. But anyway, so we built my mother-in-law a bouquet that had daisies and roses and canna lilies, because we still have all of that in December here in Texas. <laughs> And it just turned out so beautiful and it was so much fun. It's just so fun to go around and appreciate the beauty that we have right here in our yard and to be able to share it with others. What a gift. You know, it really is the little things that are so important. All right, so uh, in case you're interested. I'm using Perfect Pearls. That's what I decided to pull in. 
It is, that's right. Bye, Pam. Oh no, sorry, Missy, if I got you, got the want monster started for you. Yeah, I think, well, I just acquired it recently. I think they have like a paper sale going on. And I don't know, I think when I flip through and I see that I like 98% of it, it's hard to leave it behind, which is how it felt with that one. I just like so many of the pages and they weren't like anything I had in my stash, you know, and they were like a kind of specific color story. They're blue, which I like that too. So yeah, I do think about it. I don't just buy everything. I can't do that. Shouldn't do that. All right. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I really didn't want to cover up this oval. I don't want to cover any of it, but I'm okay with doing something like this. Okay. So this will be the front of the card. And then on the inside, we can do, do more of what makes you happy. Happy birthday, something like that. Maybe, you know, someone could use it as a birthday card. So let's go there. They are April. It's the little things, you know, I think uh, when you reflect back on what's important, it is the little things, you know, like even just my daughter and I going around with our garden shears and making that bouquet yesterday for my mother-in-law, like it's really a little thing, but it's something that my just delights my heart spending that time with her making something beautiful for my very very special mother-in-law and um you know having that memory I'm much more likely to remember something like that when it's just even though it's just so simple okay oh yes what do y'all think? I'm liking it. Let me grab a card base. We almost have two done. Okay, so here's our card base. All right, let's work on the inside a little bit and that'll give this little image. Look at that. This is one of my favorite stamps of all time. It's called Jar of Flowers uh, from Stamp Abilities 2015. Sorry, it's an oldie but goodie. I really love that, that stamp. Okay, so while that Jar of Flowers is drying, let's kind of work on the inside. I think this time I want to put a base in here. I want to put this all cattywampus over here, like this, something like that. Let's ink blend because I can't not. Oh, here, let's just do this. I have this leftover perfect pearls. Just kind of spread some of that around. Now we got two things we need to dry. Okay. liking the distance and how we had these spread. So I'm going to try to somewhat keep them together. So I'm just going to make the words straight up and down. My version of straight. Hey, Sue. Yeah. It's, I think it'll be all right. It does cover that whole portion, but at least we still get some of it. I was worried about 
if we cover it all, you really don't get the feeling of the circle and the rectangles and the oval. You know what? I think we're going to add some twine to this too. We'll just throw everything at it. This perfect pearls, you guys, <laughs> it's like pretty much already dry. You know what? I put glue on this and then I think, ooh, I want to add some more paper behind this as well. Let's just do it like this. Okay, yes. Let's add some glue there. This is just how I love to make cards, you guys. I just love to play and have fun and be extremely free with the process. So I like this. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, I could trim that. Let's trim just a tiny bit. Uh oh, this is still wet. We're gonna have to trim it. I don't mind that it's torn like that. We can tear the edges. Let's trim it a little more. It's just a little more. I like it off center, so I want to keep it off center. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. I am gonna pop it up. I am gonna add twine. So I'm gonna add twine now. That way when I glue it down, um, it'll be covered. Let's see. I got a bunch of embroidery floss at the thrift store last weekend too, which was fun. It was a lot of like golds and like tan and neutrals, which was nice. Does anyone have exciting plans today? How are y'all spending y'all Saturday? I'd love to know. My exciting plan is to be here at my craft desk. There we go. And we'll just tuck this little beauty in there. Oh, I love it. It's making me happy. Yay. Hopefully it'll make somebody else happy too. I don't want to say who's getting this one because I know that they watch my videos. I'm not saying that they're watching now or that they'll catch this one, but the off chance. I don't know if I'm going to like this cardboard back there. I might end up doing it flat, but let's just see. I don't. That's okay. Easy fix. I like it flat. Okay, I like it about right there. All right. So now we can secure this. You can add washi tape. Oh, cool. <laughs> Oh, good, Missy. I'm glad you're wrapping up so, some gifts. Hey, Sherry Tyson. Welcome. Hey, Tara. Creates too. Oh, you need like a, like a salt water system? Is that what you're researching? 
We have one. We really like it. I don't know anything about it. I don't know the brand. I don't know nothing about it. I know it needs salt every once in a while, and that's the extent. Oh, cool, April. Well, if she's flying from South Texas, she's probably been in some storms. We've had storms here since 5 a.m., 4 a.m., somewhere in there. Okay, I thought we had three cards done. We have two done. Reverse osmosis. Yeah, yeah, we have that. So there's that one. Here's this one. All right, I need to make more if I'm gonna have a set. So I'm just gonna keep going here. Um, all right, let's pick some more ephemera. how I feel about the cow, so I'm just going to rip the cow off. I love cows. I actually lived on a ranch that raised cows. We were just a tenant of the old farmhouse, me and one of my friends when I was in college. We lived on a 300-acre ranch and rented the little farmhouse and one of my I lived there a few years and one of my favorite things was in the springtime I guess the original owners the I am always imagine it was the woman but it could have been the man um but she had I always imagine it to be her she had bulb flowers planted all around the the house and because we didn't plant them it was like such a wonderful surprise like the first year I lived there when all these tulips and irises and all these beautiful bald flowers started to bloom and that was always one of my my favorite times there on the ranch but I loved loved living on that ranch because it was just a bunch of mama cows and their babies, and they were just so sweet. I would always have to leave, though, when they would come and separate the babies and take the babies away. Um, I would have to leave for like a week because the mama cows would cry for like a week that they had a full week of just crying, and they would come up to our house. We had a cattle guard um, so they couldn't cross over and we had a fenced yard, but they would come as close as they could to the ranch house and just cry and weep for their babies and it broke my heart. I couldn't stand it. I would always leave and I would tell my roommate, Sabina, I would be like, uh, call me when the cows stop crying and I'll come home. <laughs> I would go and stay with friends. I just couldn't. I couldn't take it. It was just heartbreaking for me to have the cows crying. Let's see. We haven't played with this pattern yet. Kind of liking this. I feel like this piece needs to be a little smaller. Oh, thanks, April. Oh yeah, we did the same thing. Um, and we wanted to uh, have weak kidneys and so I have to be really particular about my water and I drink a ton of it. Like this is herbal tea that I'm drinking here with y'all today, but off to the side what you can't see. Hey, I don't know if Mary C is still here, but I used your sticker on my one of my mason jar glasses. But yeah, I have a whole I always have a huge mason jar of water nearby. And when we travel, we miss our dog and we miss our filtered water. <laughs> okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking it better now that I tore 
it gives a little more definition. I think having these torn edges. Okay, I'm good with this. Hope y'all are good with this. Do they forget or just, I think they give up. It's really, oh, Kim, it's, it's just sad. I was a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for about 15 years. And so I think I was even more sensitive to the whole thing because it, I would go out. So I would go out and like sing with the cows and hang out with the cows. Like, I don't know. They're really pretty awesome animals. I think all animals are. I used to be offended when people would insult the intelligence of the cows or something. Like, no. They, they are feeling loving beings. And um, so I would go out and be like, it's not me. I don't even eat, you guys. I, I don't even eat beef. I'm not causing this. I'm not selling your babies. It's not me. <laughs> Knowing very well that they couldn't understand that, but I was trying. I was trying. But yeah, I would go out at sunset every day because we lived on a ranch that had just the most a flat horizon line. And it was cleared. And so it was just like pasture and the horizon. And I loved to see the sunset. And I love to see the golden hour when everything would turn gold. It was just, it was a really beautiful time. Yeah, you know, Texas is cool. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, well, I, I have mixed emotions sometimes. But yes, there's definitely a lot of beauty here. And there's a lot of diversity, which I really appreciate. It's not something that most people would probably think, but there is a lot of diversity in Texas. And I always appreciate diversity. They forget. I hope so. That's That would be great. Okay. Well, that one came together, I think, pretty quickly. It's not like the best card I've ever made, but it'll totally work. Let's do the inside. Um, do, 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 do. What do we want to do? If I put this in here... Then what else are we going to put in here? I kind of need to grab some ephemera, I think. Let me do that. I think I need to inject just a little something different. I have all the scraps. Let's see here. Not that bad. Ooh, maybe I could use my Tsunami Rose. Maybe we could put this in there. I know that the person I'm giving it to, I know they're not outright Christian or religious, so I'll have to cut off. I mean, I don't have to, but I'm going to cut off the Psalms. Let's see. Oh, we could always do something with that. All right. I feel like this um, this session's a little more challenging because I don't have, I didn't bring in ephemera with the paper pack. Definitely ephemera always helps. Okay, I'll save these. I'm not sweating it. This can go in my journal. Okay, so these are from Tsunami Rose. I have some um, prayer pocket project that I edited the video for while I was at the doctor's office yesterday that you guys are going to see, which I used these printables for that recently. Okay, I like 
this. Add a little color. Let's throw a doily behind it. Yes. Okay. I guess when we're stuck, we just need to kind of throw everything at it. Let's see where that gets us. Let's rip this. I think we have a lot of torn edges on the front, so we'll carry that through to the inside of the card. I like that. That hole's got to be punched out. Okay. Hey, Sue. It was great having you here. This is going to be a long one today. Sorry, I know people have to come and go, but I'm glad you were here. Yeah, you know, it is, hey there, T, TR, welcome, welcome. Yeah, you know, there's definitely different pockets. Like we kind of live, we live in the Austin area, so we're like in our own little bubble of what Texas is like. There's a lot of different bubbles and pockets of, of people, for sure. Sunflower is pretty. Did I have a sunflower? Because I wasn't paying attention. Where did that go? Oh boy. It's kind of lost. We'll find it. <laughs> there. Is that? No, those are daffodils, I think. All right. I'm not gonna go crazy with the glue. I'm just tacking this thing down, basically. So in case y'all are wondering, maybe y'all are just popping in. I'm making a set of cards. I need to keep making sets of cards to have more gifts for Christmas. So I think we're on our third card now. We've also started a journal and got all the pages done for a journal. I just have to bind it. And we've just been chatting a lot. And it's just a crafty get together. Oh, really, Tara? I lived in that area during that time. I've been in Texas most of my life. I've traveled quite a bit. I've traveled um, and seen, I've seen almost all of the United States um, by like car and been to a lot of the national parks. And I've seen, I think, 17 countries. So I do love travel. Um, I got some glue down here, you guys, so I'm cleaning it up. Somebody found an adhesive eraser at the Dollar Tree the other day. I was like, what? No way. I always find Kleenex and cleaning supplies and things like that, but I don't find craft supplies there very often. All right. But yeah, so I've traveled quite a bit, but I've been in Texas most of my life. I lived in Alabama for a while, in Auburn, Alabama. But aside from there, I've just been here. Okay, let's, I want to trim this one down. I feel like I should speed up. I don't know why, but I'm getting the feeling like I should speed up. All right. Okay, let's just add a little more to this. Just do a little ink smushing. the 
that's a dark color. I think we're gonna have to spray this. These cards are getting wild. <laughs> that's what happens when you play. Okay, I sprayed it away from my desk because I didn't want to get it really wet. Soften that up a little. I mean, it matches the darkness of the front, so it should be fine. This paper's a little wet, but it'll still be okay. Oh yeah, it can get hot. I mean, we've been in the high 70s slash 80s this week. I was wearing uh, flip-flops yesterday t-shirt and I had some jeans on and we're like seven days from Christmas so <laughs> it could definitely be a warm one around here all right that card is wild and it's done I'm gonna make another Let's see grab another five by seven card base ooh like the link to that. Okay, cool. We had this doily. Let's just put that to work. Might as well. No need to leave it laying around. Just use it up. All right. All right, let's see what we have left. I think we're gonna do thankful for you. This might be a four card. I think I'm gonna move on after this. I'm kind of I'm kind of done with these. It's gonna be a four card set. That's okay, because the person I wanted to give this to is getting other things too, so they don't need a big set of cards. Um, all right, while I'm looking, I'm going to try to, you know, what gets me is the, uh, humidity. Humidity is what I have a low tolerance for. Okay. So this is just the bottom of a lunch bag. In case y'all are wondering what I'm using. When do you see my prayer pocket video? You'll know. really like I've never made a card like this before but I like this ephemera piece being like justified like down towards the bottom it's not like up and center and in the middle it's not off to one side I kind of like it just right here in the middle of things in the middle of the mix okay So is anyone traveling for the holidays? I, we're traveling on Monday, but it's gonna be a very quick turnaround, come back. But we are gonna travel on Monday. Oh, you like this one, good. Prayer pocket, okay, I made these up, so my mom, wanted to give her Sunday school group each person because she's been studying with them for the last uh, three to six months. They've been doing a Bible study series. So she wanted to give them each a special gift. And so I made these for her to give and I called them prayer pockets, but I put like, y'all see, I have the tutorial coming up on my channel for these. 
I put in just these little file folders where they could write maybe someone who's on their prayer list. I put in little pieces of ephemera to each one. So they could tuck in, they can write on the backs of these and they can just write prayers in this little prayer pocket. So that's, that's what I was referring to. It's snowing, Gloria. Woohoo! That's cool. We're a little, um, I would say that we've been a little traumatized by the snow of Valentine's last year that we got here in Texas. We did not have electricity or water or heat because our house is fully electric for four days. Oh my goodness, we were doing like the Irish heater with the terracotta pots and candles. We were, the first day we were able to cook on the barbecue grill um, that my brother and sister-in-law had next door, but after the first day, it ran out of propane. <laughs> so then, Luckily, we have a neighbor who has a food truck. He's Jamaican as well, so my husband's Jamaican, and it's so funny. Um, our neighbor's Jamaican as well, and he's, like, from the same area, and it's just, it's really funny. And his wife is Eastern European. They are so much fun. We really like them a lot. Anyways, luckily, he has a food truck, and so he brought over a generator uh, or we got to use his generator and I used my Instapot and would cook because we're, we're three in a row here. It's, um, we have a, a family thing going on here that piece is really falling apart. Let me try this again. Where it's like one house is my mother-in-law and father-in-law, the other house is my brother and sister-in-law, and then it's us. And so we were using my Instapot and our neighbor's generator to cook food for everyone. It was rough. It was rough times. They were cold times. And so Texas just can't handle a deluge of ice and snow. We're not prepared. We had none of our streets were ever cleared. Um, and so for days it just kept accumulating. And so there was literally like a foot of ice on the road. You couldn't go anywhere or do anything about it. We were just stuck until it thawed out. So yeah, a little traumatized by that, but I do know snow is beautiful and other states have it under control. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I think that's done. I'm looking on the side over here to see what scraps we're working with. Oh yeah, and we still have, where did it go? There it is. We still have this tag that we can play with as well in this one. It's funny, my husband wanted us all to go skiing for Christmas this year. And my kids were like, no, no thanks, Dad. Like, we're good. We don't want to go be in the snow and ice. <laughs> and it's almost been a year. Okay, let's use up some scraps here. Ooh, yeah, we'll use up a little bit. Of, ooh, I like this with the with this tag. Okay, let's stagger things a bit. Okay, I'm liking that. What do y'all think? Um. Let's see, how did that go, T.R.? 
that was around when we were supposed to, yeah I think you're right I was supposed to do craft roulette and we had to get a substitute and it was like here's here's how that went another person here in Texas was supposed to do craft roulette I think and then I told Mary I would fill in for him well then the storm happened so both of her Texas people were out and then uh, she rescheduled me for a different time. So luckily I got to go back and play again. I have not been in craft roulette in weeks. I need and I miss it so much. My Friday nights, like last night, we were just consumed by other fun things like my mother-in-law's birthday. But I am missing it. Yeah, White Christmas is, would be fun. It's interesting, um, you know, I've already said I've lived in Texas for so long. And when I was a kid, of course, I, I grew up in North Texas where we would get snow, a lot of snow. And then in college, I moved to South Texas where I saw sleet one time, but never snow. And then my children, <laughs> we were, so my kids were like young, very young. And they were like, you mean we can pray for anything? And I'm like, of course. So my kids prayed for snow. And I was like, oh brother, like, cause I had never seen it snow down here. I was like, oh, oh, okay. And wouldn't you know, a week later, snow, like lots of fun, fluffy snow for my kids to play on. And they're like, oh my gosh, God is so good. And every since then, every year they pray for snow, except for this year, and they get it. And I'm just like, I've lived down here for like 20 years and never saw snow. And then my kids start praying for it. And what do you know? We're getting it every year. It's... <laughs> It's it's fabulous. It's fantastic. The power of prayer. Don't discount it. All right. I'm if y'all notice, I'm kind of like this does have some sentiments on it, but I'm not adding any sentiments to the inside cuz this way they can really make the card give the card for any occasion that they want. I think I'm going to bring in a little bit more. It's funny, this is not a paper I would normally gravitate to, but I think it's been one of my favorites in this session from this paper pad. Let's do that. I like that. Um, okay. I need to do something to the edges of this. Let's ink it up. Bring in some more of this faded jeans. And I think I'm just gonna ink it like this. I'm just barely catching the edges with my ink pad. After this, you guys, I'm probably gonna wrap it up. Well, I'm gonna show you what we made today. And then I'll probably wrap it up. It's been a long live. There's two live videos. The first one cut off, we don't know why. And then we started the second one. It's really just been um, my goal today to be company to others. Um, my house is never quiet. There's never a dull moment, but I know that others have more, more quiet and solitude than they would like. So my goal today, you know, I didn't have this life planned, but I just was preparing our breakfast this morning, preparing my tea. And I was thinking, you know, I'm going to be in the craft room 
anyways, making videos for this week and crafting. I think I'd like to jump on and give company and be with others and be in community with my community. So thanks you guys for hanging out with me and making that a reality. If you weren't here, then it would be pointless. <laughs> okay, can I close this card now? It's mostly dry. All right, we have a four pack. Woohoo! Four pack of five by sevens. Hope you guys enjoyed that little card making session. That's how I do it. That's just how I like to play. It's all play. Hey, TR, did you finish your collage paper? I totally love to see it if you did. Or did you turn it into cards? TR sent me a picture the other day. She was working with making collage paper, Franken paper. All right, let's look at these. I think this is the order we made them in. Yeah, it kind of looks so. This is the Love You card. I kept this one pretty neutral. I had toyed with putting a pink fabric on it, but I felt like this would be really great from for a masculine card if needed. I think it would have been beautiful too though with this. Ooh, I think that would be really pretty, but next time, another time. I also just liked that it was so clean and simple. The inside too is really simple. So there's that one. Here's this one. I stamped this with faded jeans and then I sprayed it with water and then I spritzed it with the perfect pearls. So then I took my leftover perfect pearls and just kind of smeared it on the inside and added a sentiment. Then we did this one. Enjoy the simple things. This one was really fast. It's not like my favorite car in the world. Hey, Noreen. Welcome. I'm so glad you caught us. We are kind of, I, ha I hate to say it, <laughs> but we are kind of wrapping up. But we have made all kinds of things together today. So if you have time, you can definitely go back. If you haven't finished it, you've been super busy. I get it. Oh, cool. Well, I can't wait to see it, TR. Okay, then we made this one. So these are a gift for someone for Christmas so that they can have a set of cards. So they'll get a four pack. And I, all of my five by seven envelopes are actually craft, which will be perfect since these cards have a lot of craft paper in them. So that'll be really nice. So we made those, yay. Then I shared my latest journal. Um, this is more of the first video that went live. I shared this journal that I just made myself and have been using already. It's wild and fun, just like me. And I shared the first couple of spreads that I had made in it. We also did some fussy cutting and put that in there. So I shared a little bit of this. I have a video coming out. I know, I'm missing you too, Noreen. I am, I'm so glad you caught us. Um, but yeah, I have a video coming out showing you guys how I made this journal. And it was my first time to make a soft cover like this. So whew, there will be a lot of editing in that video because I didn't have a plan. I just, I had a plan. I wanted to make a soft journal cover, but I didn't have a strategy really. Okay. And then the other thing we did was we started a journal for one of my nieces who's an artist. And this one's going to be a journal slash sketchbook. So we made pocket pages and we put a lot of sketchbook paper in here. I did put 
you know, it has a junk journal feel to it. So I'll put some map pages, some art pages, and lots. I did some um, calligraphy pages and then more pockets. And really it was all about the sketch paper for her. This is a mixed media paper so she can paint to her heart's content. She can draw on it, do whatever artsy things she wants to do in this journal. Here's the other one. I also have videos coming out this week where I show you how I made the, these pages, um, where I used six by six paper pads to make journal pages. I was basically trying to make some journals that didn't have printables, because I know printables are not for everyone. This is a six by six paper pages. I used up a whole paper pad and made a bunch of pages. So yeah, we put this journal together. I still have to sew it. I have to make a cover for it. And lastly, I shared, this is like the fast recap of what this never ending live has been about today. I shared these sketchbooks that I made for my nephew. I made him two. I made him the smaller one. And this is just multi mixed media artist paper all the way through so that he has a new sketchbook to work in. And then I'm giving him this one, which was a prototype for me that he can also, it's all sketchbook paper. So he can have this one as well. Thanks. Yeah, journals are so much fun. Doing that craft fair totally got me going again with journals. Um, they were definitely a big hit at the craft fair. And it's just fun. It's just another way to use these massive hordes of craft supplies that all of us card makers accumulate. <laughs> they make great gifts. I shared the prayer pockets, which there is a tutorial, or I don't know if you call it a tutorial, but a process video coming out on my prayer pockets. There's just all kinds of stuff I have piled up over here, but this is what this live has been about. But more than anything, it's been about community. So I thank you all for hanging out with me today. And I... Um, You'll be seeing more of me. I want to do another live. It won't be as long, obviously, but I want to do another live closer to Christmas. I just want to offer my time and companionship to those who need a little extra. Like, I feel like my craft room and my time is well spent when it's in community with you guys. Um, when I know that it can be a distraction or it can be a mode of lifting spirits. And so I want to be in community with y'all as often as I can. And I'd like to do it around the holidays. We did a live on Thanksgiving and I'd like to do one near Christmas. It probably won't be on Christmas Day, but I'm thinking we can at least do 45 minutes on Christmas Eve or something. That's kind of what I have in mind. Oh, thanks, Noreen. I appreciate you guys so very, very much. And, um... The community that we he have here together gives all of this meaning and purpose. I don't know a better way to say it than that. Like, I mean, I love crafting and it's soulful and it's fun. But to me, this last year, year and a half being on YouTube and building this community that's where I get so much meaningful purpose from what I'm doing. So 
I thank y'all for being a part of that and I appreciate y'all and I just feel so blessed to have y'all in my life. So thank you. I really appreciate you guys. I hope y'all have a really wonderful day. Look at this mess. This is just a little bit of the mess. I have a huge mess. I have been cleaning my craft room, but I have a long ways to go. Too busy making. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Stay cool, Noreen. It's pretty warm here too. It was like 80 yesterday, but I think it's 65 today. We've had lots of storms to cool us down. But y'all stay safe. Take care, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.